I love the Instant Pot. I've been using it for about two years now, and with a lot of trial and error, I have figured out what works and what doesn't work. And so today I am showing you my most favorite things to use when using my Instant Pot. Now I know there's a ton of stuff out there. People are using all kinds of stuff in their Instant Pot, but these are just some of the simple, easy things that I use, and there's only six of them. But before I get started on my must-haves, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and of course, push that little bell to get all of our notifications. All right guys, let's jump on over to my Instant Pot must-haves. Number one, another pot. Now, I know you're gonna think that's ridiculous. I have one pot, one pot is enough, but this last Christmas, my husband got me another pot, and I'll tell you what, it is amazing. So I use my Instant Pot almost every day, I'll be honest, but it's hard when I have a gooey recipe that I need to make, like a sticky chicken, for instance, which you can find over there. But then I need rice to go with it, and so I hate having to take out all my sticky chicken, clean it, wash it, and then put my rice in it so it will cook. This way I can just have my rice all ready to go, take my sticky chicken out, put my rice into my Instant Pot. It will save you a ton of time and it's so convenient, especially when you have two dishes you wanna make. Number two. Now I just recently found this and I am slightly obsessed. This is the Ecovana Stackable Pans. These are awesome because you can do all kinds of stuff with it. This is almost like a springform pan, just without the bottom. And you can stack two on top of each other. This is perfect for steaming vegetables. You can make brownies in here, you can make cheesecake, you can heat things up. Now they have these for sizes six quart and eight quart. Now the cool thing about these is this is how you put it into your Instant Pot. You put the handle underneath and then just lift it up and that's how you put it in and out of your Instant Pot. This rack can go in the Instant Pot and it won't hurt anything. It's awesome. Number three. Okay, let's talk about your ceiling ring. Now, if you can see, it is kind of stained a fun yellow color, which is great, but it also has a little bit of smell to it from my onions and my chicken, and even though I wash it every time after I use it, it still has that lovely smell. Now, you don't want to make a cheesecake and you get a little bit of a chicken smell in there, that's not fun. And so for me, I have two different ceiling rings. And the good thing is they come in different colors. So I use red, I would say red as in stop, don't use this on any food except my desserts. And so I use this for my cheesecakes, my brownies, that kind of stuff, my sweet stuff. And then this ring, I use for all of my savory things like my chicken and my beef and literally everything else. So that's kind of like my special dessert ring. This is my everything else ring. Number four. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit about my glass lid. This is not an Instant Pot glass lid. I got this lid um, at the store and it fits perfectly onto my Instant Pot, which is awesome because the Instant Pot ones can get a little pricey. So the one thing that you can use with the glass lid is one, you can make popcorn with it, you can use the saute button with it, you can do the slow cooker with it, just so you can see inside, I think makes a big difference, especially when you're using the slow cooker or the saute. So when you see things that are burning or something like that, you're able to just open the lid instead of having to unscrew everything with the pressure cooker lid. My favorite thing to make with the glass lid is popcorn. A springform pan. Now, this is a smaller one. This actually is six inches across, and I showed it in my lasagna video just up there. So I cooked lasagna in, in this. You also can make cheesecake. If you haven't made Instant Pot cheesecake, I'm gonna link you to a recipe because it is amazing to eat cheesecake out of the Instant Pot. So with your springform pan, I like it the most just because you can take the bottom out of it, making your cheesecake look a lot better instead of having to dig it out of something. Now, like I said before, this one's a six inch. You can get a seven inch, and I believe you can get an eight inch to go in the eight quart one. But just make sure whatever spring form pan you get, it will actually fit inside of your Instant Pot. And number six, I think my most favorite thing out of everything that I've gotten for my Instant Pot is the silicone lid. Okay guys, 
this thing is awesome. So lots of times I'm making an instant pot in the morning because I know things are gonna be wild in the evening. But with this silicone lid, all you have to do is stick it on and it is, it is heavy duty stuff. It's like having a giant Tupperware. And you can totally tip it upside down and it won't come out. So the good thing is you have an instant pot if you're too lazy to use Tupperware, you put this thing on, it works awesome. Then you don't have to heat up all of your leftovers. All you have to do is take your lid off, put this into your Instant Pot, push the warm button, give it like 30 minutes or so, and your food will be warmed. You don't have to use any other pans. So this little guy saves you a lot of time and a lot of washing dishes. I think that's why it's my favorite. All right, guys, those are all of my favorites. I hope you found this video helpful. I would love a comment below if I have missed one of your